Well, we started off with a larger Grumman amphibian with the Grumman Albatross and uh, flew that for quite a few years, actually flew it to Australia and back. And then we were looking for a smaller airplane <clears throat> that we could use for the family. And the Grumman Mallard uh, is quite a bit smaller, lighter, more maneuverable, and it has the advantage of the turbine engines. So we had good performance on the water, good control on the water. We have a place up in North Idaho on a lake, and we can bring it up to a mooring very easily with the turbine engines. Uh, and they're very trouble-free. Cold weather is not a problem. Warm up instantly. The performance of the aircraft is astounding on one engine. And on two engines, it climbs <clears throat> 1,500 feet a minute at gross weight. It was originally designed with radial engines, uh, and then Frakes, a company in San Antonio, put the turbines on it. Um, and took it from a 12,500 pound airplane to a 14,000 pound airplane, but still qualified for single pilot. Uh, <clears throat> it's a very comfortable airplane. They originally were designed for um, executive transport and also for a, a light um, uh, airline transport, but they never were used for that. They were almost all bought by oil companies and used for executive transport. This particular airplane uh, was owned, I believe, by Texaco, and then they sold it to a mining company in Indonesia where it operated taking geologists around on rivers, <clears throat> picking up geologic specimens, gold mining specimens, for uh, eight or 10 years. And then we bought it and uh, <clears throat> basically went through and completely restored it, put first-rate avionics in it, redid the interior, redid the paint. It's got Astra uh, jet, seats in it so they recline, they slide out, very comfortable. And uh, put in, like I say, modern avionics, Garmin 53430, digital color radar, um, HF, uh, VHF, business radio, and marine radio, which you need when you're operating on the water. Uh, it's got a, they say a service ceiling of 25,000 feet, I've had it to 25,000 feet and it would go a lot higher than that, but there's no reason to. Full oxygen system for every occupant. Uh, <clears throat> It's just a very comfortable airplane to fly, very maneuverable, uh, gets off the water very quickly. Uh, pretty good range, 1,200 nautical miles, uh, and it, that can be extended with long-range tanks, which we never bothered to install, but can be installed. You know? Well, the avionics package is complete, and it was very well done, very professionally done. Um, we have shore power where you can hook it up and you can uh, has bilge pumps that you can hook up. Uh, we normally only keep six or eight seats in it because that gives you lots of room. Sure. And it's got a full head in the back too. Well, it's one of the most comfortable airplanes I've ever flown. Uh, very smooth, relatively quiet. It also has uh, a Honeywell air cycle machine for heating and air conditioning. So it's air conditioned and it's heated. Um, it's just a really comfortable airplane.